series viewers appreciate a good storyline. It is they allow a person to feel the atmosphere of the series in all its glory. But also no unimportant factor is the musical design, which creates the mood and tone of the entire series. With the proper execution, even an ordinary everyday story can look like a work of art and create a unique atmosphere. And with the right approach, even after the season is over you won't want to part with the characters and will be happy to wait for the release of new episodes. The future premiere has a high expectation rating, and the creators have already announced the exact date of the release of the new episode. The show of the episode should be expected on February 1st. Even before its release, this series managed to make a statement and attract the attention of interested audiences. Viewers are intrigued and anxiously awaiting the premiere. Will the series live up to the high expectations or will it be a pass? We won't know for sure until the final episode. And to brighten up our anticipation for the new episode, we offer a review of other excellent and not inferior in the Heat of Passion series. Resident Alien is an American science fiction mystery comedy drama television series created by Chris Sheridan, based on the comic book of the same title by Peter Hogan and Steve Parkhouse. In March 2021, the series was renewed for a second season which premiered on January 26, 2022. Alan Tudyk as Harry, the titular alien with an unpronounceable birth name who has crash-landed on Earth, killed Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel, and assumed his identity. He has been sent to Earth to destroy the human race, believing that this would benefit the planet, but he spends the series struggling with the moral ambiguity of his mission after absorbing the human quality of emotions. He is fascinated by humans and has learned how to speak English, as well as how to masquerade as a medical examiner, from watching reruns of Law and Order. Although he attempts to blend in with people, he consistently stands out because of his misunderstandings of social cues and awkward speech and behavioral patterns. As the series progresses, he learns more about human interactions and involuntarily develops human emotions and attachments while in disguise. He possesses superhuman strength, durability, and agility as well as advanced intelligence and shape-shifting abilities. Stuntman Keith Arbuthnet plays the alien in his true form, an androgynous, humanoid octopodiforms being. The plot of the first episode of the first season turned out to be very interesting. An alien spacecraft is struck by lightning and crash lands near the rural town of Patience, Colorado. Its pilot, whose real name is unpronounceable by humans, was on a mission to wipe out human life on Earth. Stranded, he must blend in by assuming human form and the identity of Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel, whom he killed upon encountering. For months, Harry has been searching the mountains for his device that will wipe out humanity and fishing the lake for Dr. Vanderspiegel's corpse. Harry is asked by Sheriff Mike and Deputy Liv to examine the body of Sam Hodges, the town doctor, and his behavior is off-putting but accepted. He even takes on the doctor's job with help from the head nurse Asta Twelve Trees, but he learns his true identity can be seen by Max, Mayor Ben Hawthorne's young son. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this, but for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends.
Friends is an American television sitcom created by David Crane and Martha Kaufman. The show revolves around six friends in their 20s and 30s who live in Manhattan. Friends received acclaim throughout its run, becoming one of the most popular television shows of all time. The series was nominated for 62 Primetime Emmy Awards. Episodes depict the Friends' comedic and romantic adventures and career issues. From 1994 to 2004, 10 seasons of the series were filmed. A total of 236 episodes. It was shown with great success in various countries of the world and gained many fans. At the beginning of the series, Rachel leaves her fiancé right at the altar and moves in with her high school friend Monica. After leaving her fiancé, Rachel decides to start an independent life and give up her father's money. Starting working as a waitress in a coffee shop, she is pursuing a career in the fashion world. The work of the screenwriters was also highly appreciated. Serious investment in this part of the work on the series has paid off. Characteristic of the observed was the fact that its plot is timeless, although it is applicable to acceptable clear time frames that coincide with the time of filming. The political and cultural cataclysms of 1990-2000 do not appear in any way in the dialogues of the characters. The closure of Friends was not only the end of the last season of one of the highest rated and commercially successful series in the United States, but also a turning point for the entire television. Experts talked about the end of an entire era of sitcoms, which was personified by the final episodes of Friends. The great series of 1980-1990 began to gradually fade into the past. According to experts, the series was originally aimed at a target audience from 18 to 49 years old. However, as the creators of the series noted, this was not a show for one generation, it was for everyone. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23. Other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers and streaming on Netflix. The brothers serve as showrunners and are executive producers along with Sean Levy and Dan Cohen. The series premiered on Netflix on July 15, 2016. Set in the 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana, the first season focuses on the investigation into the disappearance of a young boy amid supernatural events occurring around the town. The Duffer Brothers developed Stranger Things as a mix of investigative drama alongside supernatural elements portrayed with horror, science fiction, and childlike sensibilities. Setting the series in the 1980s, the Duffer Brothers infused references to the pop culture of that decade while several themes and directorial aspects were inspired primarily by the works of Steven Spielberg, J. 
John Carpenter and Stephen King, as well as anime and video games. Stranger Things has attracted record viewership on Netflix and has an international fan base. The series has received critical acclaim for its characterization, atmosphere, acting, soundtrack, directing, writing, and homages to 1980s films. It has received many awards and nominations, including 39 Primetime Emmy Award nominations, for Golden Globe Award nominations, a British Academy Television Award nomination, two Directors Guild of America Award nominations, three Writers Guild of America Award nominations, and three Grammy Award nominations. Stranger Things gained a dedicated fan base soon after its release. Supernatural is an American dark fantasy drama television series created by Eric Kripke. Starring Jared Padalecki as Sam Winchester and Jensen Ackles as Dean Winchester. Before bringing Supernatural to television, creator Eric Kripke had been developing the series for nearly 10 years, having been fascinated with urban legends since he was a child. He had originally envisioned Supernatural as a movie. During its first season, the show received generally mixed critical reception, but the reception from critics has grown more favorable as the series progressed with subsequent seasons receiving generally positive reviews from critics. Being a cult series, Supernatural has garnered a dedicated fanbase. The first season consists of 22 episodes. It premiered on the WB on September 13, 2005. The series follows the two brothers as they hunt demons, ghosts, monsters, and other supernatural beings. After their mother's death in a suspicious fire that burns down their house 22 years prior, Sam and Dean Winchester's father goes missing during a hunting trip. As a result, Dean tracks down Sam at Stanford University and they begin to live a life on the road, in Dean's black 1967 Chevrolet Impala with Kansas license plates. However, their father is not a typical hunter. He hunts supernatural creatures like ghosts, vampires, and spirits, and has trained his sons to do the same. Along the way, Sam and Dean save innocent people, fight creatures and ghosts, and collect clues to their father's whereabouts. Sam begins to mysteriously develop psychic abilities and visions as they travel. The Vampire Diaries is an American supernatural teen drama television series developed by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck, based on the book series of the same name. The series premiered on September 10, 2009, and concluded on March 10, 2017, having aired 171 episodes over eight seasons. The series is set in the fictional town of Mystic Falls, Virginia, a town charged with supernatural history. It follows the life of Elena Gilbert, a teenage girl who has just lost both parents in a car accident, as she falls in love with a 162-year-old vampire named Stefan Salvatore. Their relationship becomes increasingly complicated as Stefan's mysterious older brother Damon Salvatore returns, with a plan to bring back their past love Catherine Pierce, a vampire who looks exactly like Elena. Although Damon initially harbors a grudge against his brother for forcing him to become a vampire, he later reconciles with Stefan and falls in love with Elena, creating a love triangle among the three. Both brothers attempt to protect Elena as they face various villains and threats to their town, including Catherine. The brothers' history and the town's mythology are revealed through flashbacks as the series goes on. The Vampire Diaries initially received mixed reviews, which through the course of the show, improved significantly. Many TV critics felt the series improved with each episode. Sarah Hughes of The Independent says The Vampire Diaries turns into a well-crafted, interestingly developed series despite a mediocre opening episode. Constant Love is a Turkish romantic television series. The plot proved interesting to many viewers. Ray Yen is Nesu Sadoglu's granddaughter, patriarch of the prominent Sadoglu family in the town of Midya. However, she has never felt loved by anyone in her household except her father, Hazar, her mother, Zara, and her younger sister, Gul. Ray Yen has been mistreated by her grandfather since childhood because she is not his biological granddaughter and the only reason he accepted her into the family was at Hazar's request. One morning, Ray Yen goes out on horseback to watch the sunrise. On her way back, her horse is nearly hit by a car. Ray Yen falls and loses consciousness. The driver of the car, a handsome young man named Miran, is immediately attracted to her and offers to drive her back home. Yaren, daughter of Hazar's brother, Chihan, 
is infatuated with Miran. When Miran falls in love with her cousin, Yaren swears revenge on Rayen for stealing Miran from her and ruining her life. Eventually, Miran and Rayen are married. However, Miran abandons Rayen after their first night as husband and wife, sparking intense feelings of betrayal and hatred in Rayen. She vows to never let him forget what he has done to her. Soon, Rayen finds out that everything Miran has told her about himself is a lie, his name, his background, his family, and the wedding. Miran's plan all along was to gain the trust of the Sadagla family, marry their innocent daughter and then leave her the morning after, humiliating the entire family and thus, exacting the first part of his revenge against the Sadaglas. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom, created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays for CBS. The series, which aired from 2005 to 2014, follows the main character, Ted Mosby, and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The series was loosely inspired by Thomas and Bay's friendship when they both lived in New York. The vast majority of episodes were directed by Pamela Fryman, who directed 196 episodes out of 208. Known for its unique structure, humor, and incorporation of dramatic elements, How I Met Your Mother was popular throughout its run. It initially received positive reviews upon release, but reception became more mixed as the seasons went on. The show was nominated for 91 awards and received 21. In 2010, Alison Hannigan won the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Comedy Actress. In 2012, seven years after its premiere, the series won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Network TV Comedy, and Neil Patrick Harris won the award for Favorite TV Comedy Actor twice. The series follows the adventures of Ted Mosby, played by Josh Radner, and his love life as a single man. His stories are narrated by Bob Saget as Ted Mosby 25 years later as he tells them to his adolescent children. The plot of the first episodes of the first season was very interesting. After his best friend Marshall proposes to his long-term girlfriend, Lily, Ted solicits help from his friend Barney to find the one for his life. He manages to get a date with Robin, a girl he met at his usual neighborhood bar, but threatens to scare Robin away when he accidentally reveals his love for her on the very first date. Meanwhile, Marshall accidentally hits Lily in the eye with the champagne stopper after they get engaged, forcing her to wear an eye patch. In an attempt to repair his situation with Robin, Ted instead pursues a casual relationship with her by inviting her to a series of parties. Marshall tries to write an important 25-page law paper, but Ted's parties and Lily's post-engagement desire distracts him. Meanwhile, Barney tries to end a relationship he unknowingly started. Ted agrees to let Barney disrupt his routine by taking an impromptu trip to the airport with him that eventually leads the duo to Philadelphia and trouble with airport security. Meanwhile, Lily and Robin go out for drinks, but Lily becomes jealous when she is not as successful with men as Robin is, for which she blames her engagement ring. Marshall travels between both situations in an attempt to rectify the group's problems. Miracle Workers is an American anthology comedy television series created by Simon Rich. It is based on Rich's writings, with each season being based on a different work. Miracle Workers premiered on February 12, 2019, with its seven-episode first season. The first season follows Craig, a low-level angel responsible for handling all of humanity's prayers, and Eliza, a recent transfer from the Department of Dirt. Their boss, God, has pretty much checked out to focus on his favorite hobbies. To prevent Earth's destruction, Craig and Eliza must achieve their most impossible miracle to date. Alongside the initial series order announcement, it was confirmed that Daniel Radcliffe and Owen Wilson would star in the series. Simon Rich back when he wrote the book had high hopes that someday it would be filmed, but no one seriously believed that anyone would be able to recreate such a huge world on the screen. Daniel Radcliffe was a fan of the books even before the adaptation and was one of the first to join the cast of the series. At the same time, Simon greatly admired Daniel as an actor. Radcliffe is also an excellent producer, he helped the project in every way and took a lot of different creative decisions, from finding designers to the choice of the cast. In the early stages of script development, Owen Wilson was in the cast. But after the actor saw the final drafts of the script, his opinion disagreed with the screenwriters about his character. So he was replaced by Steve Buscemi. The idea of the creators was that God was flawed and vulnerable, just like the people he created. They wanted to see a character who is sometimes reckless and irrational. 
That's the kind of god Steve would play. Once Upon a Time is an American fantasy adventure drama television series that aired for seven seasons on ABC from October 23, 2011 to May 18, 2018. The action alternates between two main settings, a fantastical world where fairy tales happen, and a fictional seaside town in Maine called Storybrooke. The real-world part of the story unfolds with the characters of Emma Swan and her ten-year-old son, Henry Mills. Henry discovers the other people of the town are fairy tale characters. The audience is shown the backstory of the town's people as fairy tale characters, in conjunction with their unfolding stories in the real world. Most of the show's characters are extracted from famous fairy tales of the brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, popular Western literature, folklore, Arthurian legend, and Greek mythology, as well as original Disney characters from the Walt Disney Company. The core themes of the show are hope and optimism. For the first six seasons, the series is set in the fictional seaside town of Storybrook, Maine, in which the residents are actually fairy tale characters that were transported to the real world town and robbed of their memories. Adam Horowitz and Edward Kitsis conceived the show in 2004 before joining the writing staff of Lost, but wanted to wait until that series was over to focus on this project. Eight years before the Once Upon a Time pilot, Kitsis and Horowitz became inspired to write fairy tales out of a love of mystery and excitement of exploring lots of different worlds. They presented the premise to networks, but were refused because of its fantastic nature. From their time on Lost, the writers learned to look at the story in a different way, namely that character has to trump mythology. Game of Thrones is an American fantasy drama television series created by David Benioff and D. B. Weiss for HBO. It is an adaptation of A Song of Ice and Fire, a series of fantasy novels by George R. 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 Martin, the first of which is A Game of Thrones. The show was shot in the United Kingdom, Canada, Croatia, Iceland, Malta, Morocco, and Spain. It premiered on HBO in the United States on April 17, 2011, and concluded on May 19, 2019, with 73 episodes broadcast over eight seasons. Set on the fictional continents of Westeros and Essos, Game of Thrones has a large ensemble cast and follows several story arcs throughout the course of the show. The first major arc concerns the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros through a web of political conflicts among the noble families either vying to claim the throne or fighting for independence from whoever sits on it. A second focuses on the last descendant of the realm's deposed ruling dynasty, who has been exiled to Essos and is plotting to return and reclaim the throne. The third follows the Night's Watch, a military order defending the realm against threats from beyond Westeros's northern border. Game of Thrones attracted a record viewership on HBO and has a broad, active, and international fan base. Critics have praised the series for its acting, complex characters, story, scope, and production values. The final season received significant critical backlash for its reduced length and creative decisions, with many considering it a disappointing conclusion. The series received 59 Primetime Emmy Awards. After Game of Thrones storyline began outpacing the published novels in the sixth season, the series was based on a plot outline of the future novels provided by Martin along with original content. Before season 4, Martin stated there was an issue with the television series being released before the source material could be written. According to Benioff, Martin gave the showrunners an outline on the final two books of the series.